Hello there. So I'm back today with another review for Born Pretty Store. And today I have these two powders. This is shade 5. This is shade 6. I made a mistake when I asked to review these powders. And I was supposed to ask for 3 and 4 and accidentally asked for shades 5 and 6. But nevertheless, we'll give them a try. Just looking at them, they're absolutely packed with powder. And it does look a bit like cornflour or um, cooking flour. But these are solar activated. And it says to use these with obviously gel. But because I don't use gel polish, I'm going to try a couple of different ways. Because according to the Bon Pretty website, you mix some of this powder with your no white top coat, paint it onto your nails and cure, repeat as necessary until you're happy with the effect. Now, obviously I don't use gel, as I said. So, I'm going to try mixing some with a water-based top coat. I'm going to try mixing some with a regular top coat. And then, I'm wondering why it comes with a sponge applicator, as you can see there. I'm then going to try applying it over a tacky base. And I'm taking advantage of the sun here in the UK because I wasn't aware when again when I chose them. I thought they were heat activated by the heat from your body. I didn't realise they were sun activated. And the sun's not very popular here in the UK. But it is shining today. So I'm going to take advantage of that. And I'm going to use shade 6 for this review. Shade 5 I will do again. But not in this video, so you'll find all them on my blog posts. So we'll just get everything sorted, and we'll be back. Okay then, so we'll start off with the tacky base. And I know this doesn't take long to dry, so we'll do that on little pinky. As you can see, I'm not doing this over a colour, just over the nail it doesn't say in the description to paint with a colour so there is the tacky base I have a couple of brushes and some pieces of foil ready to mix but we'll give this a quick chance to dry and try this one first I say it is how well this will pick up I mean, it sticks to that sponge. But you, I say, just looking at it, it reminds me of cornflour. Ooh, I'll be doing that. Okay, let's make a mess. Oh, this feels so weird. It just feels like I'm putting flour on my nail. I mean, although the sun is shining today, I have no idea how strong the rays from the sun need to be. Well, that looks covered. Whether this will work this way, we'll only find out when we go out into the garden with the sunshine. Okay, so that's that way. I'll give that a top coat with the water-based top coat in a minute. So let's get onto this now. So let's do the water-based top coat first. So let's put a bit of that on here. Now, I have no idea how much pigment I'm going to need to take. Bear with me a moment and I'll be back. Sorry about that. Okay, so as you can see, I've mixed some into the water based top coat so now ring finger is going to get this one I'm 
mean, it's just like painting. Oh, there's a lump there. It's just like painting a. I don't know. Glue. It's like a milky. Yeah, it's like a milky mixture. So it mixed well though. And we'll try and show you that on this one as I'm had to go away because I had a phone call. I mean, I have no idea if I've done enough polish to enough powder because it doesn't say how much of each to mix. So we're just going to dump that and get another bit and just round Now I have noticed from painting with the water-based top coat to the normal top coat that did feel, and as you can see, that is drying a lot, lot quicker. And yeah, look, that's dried on there already. So, okay, this one. See, now this one is still... We'll give that a second coat. I so I've got a funny feeling this isn't going to work. I think these are going to need gel because I really can't get a smooth application. I mean, that's no disregard to the product. That's down to me not being able to use gel and. Just mix another bit up. Yeah, so that's down to me not being able to wear gel polish anymore. I can hear my cats in the kitchen. I have no idea what they're doing. going to do a bit of each. So that first coat has been with regular polish and then because we've got enough here the second coat over the top of that I'm going to do the water-based polish. Sorry if I was off camera there. So we've got a complete array of ways to try this and I've got the shape And that really has not applied nicely. Not that way anyway. That way was better. Okay. All we need to do is just top coat this one with a water-based top coat. A little pinky poo. Like so. And wait for those to dry. Okay, so we have burnished in a Vrataki layer, mixed into a water-based polish, mixed into a regular clear polish, and half and half. So the first layer was the regular polish, and the top layer was with the water-based polish. And as you can see, it goes on like a milky white consistency. dries very powdery 
And what I'm going to do now is I'll quickly clean this up. I'll wait for the sun to come back out because it's gone behind a cloud and I'll take you out the garden with me and we'll see if it has any effect on this. I'm not going to top coat those ones. I'm just going to... Well, actually, should I top coat them? Yeah, I will top coat them. I'm going to do a water-based top coat on those two and a regular top coat on this one and then I'll see you back out the garden. Okay, here we go, out the garden. As you can see, the sun is shining and yes, it does work. I'm actually astounded. The only one that didn't work, but is slowly going, just taking a bit longer. His little pinky. So there you go. Okay, so I'm back indoors now and as you can still see there's that gorgeous colour there. And as I said, the only one it didn't work on was the one where I burnished it. So maybe that would work gel, I don't know, but obviously that way it doesn't work. And if I'm truthful, I'm amazed that it actually worked with the regular polish as well as the water based and for the actual application even though this dried quicker as you notice this was a lot more I mean you can see there it wasn't the most perfect application because I was getting brush strokes but now you can see the colours starting to fade again but I do prefer the actual finish with a regular polish and that was regular top coat as well so that is really nice to know so if you can't use gel, you haven't got a water-based top coat, you can still use this powder. As I say, I will do this again for my photos for my blog, but I just wanted to show you all this on video so you could see for yourself. I'll leave the links all to everything you need below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Give me a lovely thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.